The Zaporizhia region of southeast Ukraine has become the most recent hot spot for battles in the 18-month war, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu said Tuesday, as Kyiv's forces press ahead with their counteroffensive. Shaigu told Russian military officers that Ukraine has brought up reserve brigades there that were trained by Kyiv's Western allies. He offered no evidence for his claim, which could not be independently verified. Fighting in the southeast could be one of the keys to the war. If Russian defenses there collapse, Ukrainian forces could push southward toward the coast and potentially split Russian forces into two. Shaigu's assertion was corroborated in part by other reports and assessments of Ukraine's three-month-old effort to drive out the Kremlin's troops. The Institute for the Study of War, a think tank, citing geolocated footage, said Tuesday that Ukrainian light infantry has advanced beyond some of the anti-tank ditches and dense minefields that make up Russia's layered defenses in Zaporizhia. However, it said it was unable to state that the defense was fully breached, because no Ukrainian heavy armor has been witnessed in the area. It is in the south that the Ukrainian brigades have made most recent battlefield gains as the counteroffensive inches forward under heavy fire. Since the grinding counteroffensive began about three months ago, Ukraine has advanced 7 kilometers 4.3 miles in the Zaporizhia region, Ukrainian officials claim. Troops surmounted dense Russian fortifications last week to retake the village of Robotai. That was Ukraine's first tactically significant victory in that part of the country. Ukrainian forces have made more progress in that area and were fortifying captured positions on Tuesday morning, according to Pavlo Kovalchuk, spokesman of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Neither side's battlefield claims could be verified. If Ukrainians progress just 15 kilometers 9 miles from Robotyne, they could come within firing range of Russia's east-west transport routes and potentially weaken Moscow's combat capabilities, military observers say. Ukrainian forces are advancing without air cover, making their progress harder and slower, while Russia has launched its own push in the northeast to pin down Ukrainian forces and prevent them being redeployed to the south. Ukraine has adapted its counteroffensive tactics in recent weeks, moving from attempts to bludgeon its way through Russian lines using Western-supplied armor to better planned tactical attacks that make incremental gains, according to the Royal United Services Institute, a think tank. However, this approach is slow, with approximately 700 minus 1,200 meters 2,300-4,000 feet of progress every five days, allowing Russian forces to reset, it said in an assessment Monday. Ukrainian mortar squads say they meet fierce Russian resistance. Three Ukrainian soldiers draw back the sliding roof of their dugout near the front line, quickly launch several mortar bombs and shout, presence for the Russians. To avoid revealing their position, they rapidly replace the makeshift roof, consisting of branches and leaves covering tarpaulin stretched over a metal frame, and take cover. It's a routine they repeat frequently as Ukraine's army tries to battle through vast Russian minefields and heavily fortified trenches in the southern region of Zaporizhia. Kyiv says its troops are gradually pushing back Russian forces in the south after 18 months of occupation, but that fighting is heavy three months into the counteroffensive. The Russians resist fiercely there on the front line, they are trying to get back their positions, the mortar squad's commander, who uses the call sign Harai, told Reuters. But we have an advantage. Despite everything being mined and our soldiers having a hard time, the Russians were thrown out of their positions where the most fortified line of trenches and dugouts was. Now the Russians are in the field where they have nothing and they're trying to build something there. Our soldiers are in their former Russian positions, prepared by them, the Russians. That's the advantage we have, he said. The mortar position is part of a maze of trenches and dugouts with wooden walls and underground living quarters. At first we had to make one dug out. But then we got excited and started digging and digging. We built a restroom, then another room. The longer the war lasts, the more rooms there will be here," Harai said. Ukraine says it retakes more ground as Zelensky visits front lines. Ukraine said on Monday its troops had regained more territory on the Eastern Front and were advancing south in their counteroffensive against Russian forces while President Volodymyr Zelensky visited two frontline areas. 
Deputy Defense Minister Hannah Mallier said Kyiv's forces had retaken about 3 square km 1.16 square miles of land in the past week around the eastern city of Bakhmut, which was captured by Russian troops in May after months of heavy fighting. She also reported unspecified success in the direction of the villages Novodanilivka and Novoprokopivka in the southern region of Zaporizhia, but gave no details. Ukraine has now taken back about 47 square km of territory around Bakhmut since starting its counteroffensive in early June, Malia wrote on the Telegram messaging app. Reuters was not able to verify the reports and Russia has not confirmed the Ukrainian advances. Both sides have counted gains of tiny villages or pockets land as recent successes. Videos posted on the Ukrainian presidential website on Monday showed Zelensky visiting troops in the eastern Donetsk region, where Bakhmut is located, and in Zaporizhia region, where Kyiv's forces are trying to push southward to the Sea of Azov. Zelensky was shown presenting medals to soldiers at a number of sites and offering thanks to medics at a field hospital on the southern front. Ukraine reports frontline success, Russian minister decries Kyiv's failure. Ukraine's military on Tuesday reported advances and robust defense along the front lines of its 18-month-old war with Russia, with Moscow acknowledging tension in the southern sector but dismissing Kyiv's campaign as unsuccessful. Ukraine launched a counter-offensive in June to reclaim territory seized by Russia, but has struggled to break through entrenched Russian lines and has faced growing criticism in Western media of concentrating forces in the wrong places. With Moscow's stretched military resources and dissent in the ranks, however, both sides have measured recent successes by taking control of tiny villages or small pockets of land. Kyiv has retaken several villages in a southward drive towards the Sea of Azov and says it is regaining ground near the eastern city of Bakhmut, seized by Russia in May after months of battles. We are pressing our offensive in the Bakhmut sector and our defenders are advancing confidently meter by meter, namely Klashivka, Ilya Yevlash, spokesperson for Ukrainian troops in the East told national television. He was referring to a village located on heights south of Bakhmut, seen as critical to recapturing the city. Yevlash said Ukrainian troops had withstood an onslaught further north near Lyman, a town they retook last year. Russian forces had been dealt, a good kick, near the village of Novoyhorivka which halted their advance, he said. Ukraine's general staff, in its evening report, said its forces were moving towards Melitopol in the south, aimed at severing the land bridge Russian troops have established between Crimea, annexed by Moscow in 2014, and the occupied east. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu dismissed the offensive as a failure, while admitting that things were far from easy in parts of southeastern Zaporizhia region that Moscow controls. Ukraine's armed forces have not achieved their goals on any front, the defense ministry quoted Shaigu as saying. The most tense situation is that on the Zaporizhia front, the enemy has engaged brigades from its strategic reserve whose personnel have been trained by Western instructors. Ukrainian analysts said the drive to capture a succession of villages was paying off, but much would depend on pushing on for the next two months before wintry weather takes hold. Military analyst Serhii Zigaretts, writing on the website of Espresso TV, said the military had opened new fronts in the south with a strategy he dubbed, stretch, attrition and strike. Ukrainian officials have said in the past week that their forces have managed to push past Russia's first line of defenses but now confronted further lines in areas where Moscow has had time to build up fortifications and minefields. The enemy is trying to make the most of the dry period to fortify themselves, redeploy and maneuver, Natalia Humanyu, spokesperson for Southern Forces, told national television. They can feel the degree to which we can secure fire control on the logistics routes so important to them. Russia has already lost about 265,120 troops in Ukraine plus 460 over the past day. The relevant statement was made by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook, and Ukraineform correspondent reports.